Dr. P here. Um, I wanted to go over a quick example of finding the total work or the net work done on an object. And so here I am, I am pushing a box up a ramp that's inclined at five degrees. So this will be theta um, and it'll be five degrees. The box has some initial velocity uh, and a weight of 225 newtons. Uh, I will push it up the ramp a distance of six meters. So it's gonna travel up the ramp. Um, I apply some force and there is also friction. Okay, so what does the force diagram, what does the free body diagram of this box look like? Well, we have the force of gravity downward. We have um, the force applied that goes up the ramp. We have the force of friction that travels back down the ramp and we have the normal force that is perpendicular to the ramp. All right, so the net work or the total work will be the work done by all of the forces. So the work done by the normal force plus the work done by the applied force plus the work done by the force of friction plus the work done by gravity. Um, in this case, the the angle between the normal force and the direction of travel is 90 degrees. Remember, perpendicular forces do no work, so this work will be equal to zero. All right, our applied work, the angle is um, zero degrees. The uh, force of friction, our angle is 180 degrees, and so um, friction will do negative work. And for the work due to gravity, um, Remember, it travels, the box travels in this direction. So our angle between the force of gravity, Fg, um, times the distance times the cosine of theta, the, this, um, we'll call it phi. This phi angle will be the angle between um, the direction of travel and the force of gravity, which will be 90, plus the angle of our ramp, um, so 95 degrees will be our phi. Okay, so I'm just gonna plug all of this stuff in here. Um, our net work will be equal to then our applied force, uh, 85 newtons, times our um, distance, six meters, plus our force of friction, which is 56 newtons, times our six meters. Um, remember, that's gonna be negative though. Um, because it acts in the uh, down the hill direction, plus our force of gravity, which is equal to the weight, 225 newtons times six meters times the cosine of 95. We put all of that into our calculator and we get out a network that is gonna be 56 joules. Okay. I want to, to express that finding the network by adding each of the works is the same as if we were to find the net force and then um, find the work from there. If we look at this problem by finding the net work um, from the net force, the important thing to note is that whatever direction in the net the net force is in, that's gonna be the direction of motion, so we don't need to add in any, um, any angle or any cosine. So um, the net force then, we just sum the forces in the direction that is parallel to the ramp, and we get the force of friction, which is negative. We get Fg parallel plus the applied force. And so um, we have our forces up here. So the force of friction is negative, 56 newtons, um, minus Fg parallel, which is 225 sine theta, plus the applied force of 85 newtons. We get a net force of approximately 9.4 newtons. We take that net force and then we plug it right into this. 9.4 newtons times six meters gives us a total work of 56 joules. It's the same thing.